Most people in America are familiar somewhat, in at least their mind or in the title, of women's suffrage. And the women's suffrage movement was a long time ago, and it was about a woman's right to vote. Today, all women have the right to vote at any time. But here's the problem. A lot of times men are trying to take away women's rights. We see that across America today, that men who are not related to any of them are trying to wet, take away a woman's right to do things, a woman's, a woman's right to say things, and a woman's right to be all she can be. But here's the problem. We also have men who are not like them, who agree with them. And therefore, we still have a problem between the classes, and we still have a problem between the genders, and we still have a problem with a man simply saying that a woman's right to her life is not her right. Now, here's the deal. There's a lot of people that don't understand God. But do these men really feel that standing before Jesus at the end of their life is going to help them when they have to justify their abuse of people. Abuse of people is not a moral high ground. Abuse of a person's face, abuse of a person's body, abuse of a person's records, abuse of a person's mentality, abuse of a person's preferences, abuse of a person's inspiration, abuse of a person's creation, abuse of a person's telecommunication rights, and abuse of a person's computer are not your right. So at this point, you have no moral high ground to stand on. But at the same time, you have no law in America to stand on either. And at no point in any of the works on God does God authorize blatant insubordination-oriented type of abuse. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth about what a man's rights are in any other person's life. And the absolute truth underneath federal laws and international treaties is no man has the right to claim that they are God in your life. And no man has the right to sexually assault your life. And no woman has the right to sexually assault your body. And no female has the right to improve herself is not true. And no male has no right to impede himself is not true. But here's the deal. Every day people do this. Every day people participate and perform acts of abuse. So as a society, as a uh, morality, as propriety seems to wane, how do we stop abuse of men and women who are just aren't the same? You see, differences in America is what gives us strength in companies and corporations. But abuses in America by company men who fail to recognize rights is a serious offense, not only to God, but to their companies and organizations. It proves that men are immoral. It proves that men choose to be illegal, and it proves that they don't care at all.